every day. Uh, it was a school where you didn't have to pretend. You really was what you made of it. And if you had the personality, the same interest as most of the kids did, you didn't have to worry about it because you had your place. And I think back then that was all we were looking for, an education and our place there at Anderson. My freshman year, I was a twirler. And it didn't last long. And after then, we, were, we didn't have, you know, uh, sports for women, for girls outside of the campus, but very good in the sports that we played in school, intramural. So I did all of that. I was, uh, my senior year, I was in the choir. <laughs> it's comical. And um, I was a hall monitor for four years. And I was just in and out. My senior year, I was fortunate enough to be on TV in the candid classroom with Mr. Brown, my biology teacher at that time. He also taught me general science too. One of the best high schools in the nation, throughout the world. I don't think that you could get a better education than what we got at Anderson. Because that was our place to be, football season, basketball season. I think some even went to baseball. And we had such a small community that we look forward to that. For me, it was good. I think in every place, anywhere you go, you may have some problems. But for me, I love my teachers, some more than others, but basically, I enjoyed each one of them. Teachers at Anderson was very interested in you. They made a point of letting you know the good qualities and the bad qualities and what you could do and how your attitude should be, be in order to succeed in life. That's very important to a young person growing up. Now, I've, I've had five children to graduate from high school and grandkids. They don't seem to take that time. They don't seem to uh, care about whether you get it or not. At Anderson, they did. And I'm so glad they did because that taught me something that I needed to look for in teachers that was teaching my children. And it made me a better parent because instead of just sending the kids to school and expecting everything out of a teacher, I knew some guidelines and I knew some things that they shouldn't have been doing and all of that. So that's, you know, it's a vast difference in teachers now. We were taught how to dress. We were taught how to act. It was just so much that they taught us that all of us that took it to heart has been able to look back and draw up on those experiences. Think about the football games, the basketball games, and just some of the things that happen in school. Down that hallway, you know, going to class, coming from classes, being sent to the office probably for doing something you haven't been doing. It's just a lot. It's enough to um, keep you going when you look back. And especially when we have our class reunions and school reunions, that's probably most of our conversation 
is what happened. We're not so worried about what's going on now. It's just that what happened while we were growing up. And all of the things that maybe we didn't like, uh, kids that we didn't, you know, associate with, all of that is coming to one big happy family now. And so whatever it was that caused these problems, we don't even think about it. We're just glad to be with each other and just proud to be a yellow jacket. I had at least four teachers that seemed like at that time that they were so hard and that I liked them, but I just kind of felt like they were just being a little hard, you know. But those are the teachers that has helped me down through the years that they, they pull out of you probably what you would never have done. But when I look back and I think about that, I always have to say the one that let me get by, you know, some, that wasn't that helpful in life. Because once you get out of high school and get into the real world, you're not gonna always run into that. So I always have to look back and appreciate those teachers. And those teachers were Mr. Timmons, he was my algebra teacher and my geometry teacher. Ms. Winston was my typing teacher, which really helped me get a job. Ms. B.F. Hart was my homeroom teacher my sophomore year. And she was for real. You just didn't, you know, act any kind of way with her. And Mr. McDonald, he was my algebra teacher my freshman year. So those teachers were so, they, was, they, were, they were tough, but yet and still they were good. So I'll, it's some more, but those are the ones that, you know, that, that I always talk about them all the time. We always talk about them, because it's so comical and funny to think about when you look back and think about the things that they were telling you and how it meant so much once you got away. It didn't at that particular time, but most things like that anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I think, I think, and I just, I just enjoyed my time and basically my friends, a lot of them today, are my high school friends. And you just don't replace them.